Do you ever think you'd be playing the harmonica? No, land sex alive, no. <laughs> for years, breathing has been difficult for Glenda Green. I started smoking when I was 12 years old. So playing the harmonica with her oxygen machine behind her, pretty remarkable. Jim Oatesfall, a volunteer at St. Thomas Rutherford, was leery about learning how to play the harmonica. What was your first thought when you first signed up for this class? Ain't no way. <laughs> My first thought was, I said, I can't hardly breathe, much less how am I gonna play a harmonica? Jim and Glenda have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, known as COPD, and they're not alone. And down. These COPD patients in pulmonary rehab signed up for a pilot program called Harmonicas for Health at St. Thomas Rutherford Hospital. By learning how to play this tiny instrument, patients have noticed a big difference in their overall quality of life. I can take deeper breaths, I can hold my breath longer. It's definitely made an improvement on my breathing. When we started this program, you know, I asked how many people are practicing their harmonica daily, and everybody held up their hand. And I'm just giggling because I'm thinking, no, what you're doing daily is pulmonary rehab. The five-week program was started by the Academy of Country Music and the COPD Foundation. At first, organizers were hoping maybe five people would show up. Instead, 25 walked through the door ready to learn. It definitely helps and it, it is enjoyable. Uh, just being with the other people, that helps out a whole lot. Just getting out of the house a lot too. I've been so excited to watch them in this transformation and just to know their stories and a little bit of their history and the struggles that they've been through and to see the hope and the joy and the excitement that they have every week when they come together. On the last day of class, these folks got a real treat. That's how I learned to sing and play in different keys. A visit from country music singer and songwriter <laughs> and harmonica player, Chris Jansen. He really made our day. <laughs> that guy is talented. I, I do believe that music heals a lot of things. It can heal almost anything. And, and it's fun. Well, you can buy me a boat. You wouldn't know it, but this rising country music star has breathing issues of his own. He doesn't have COPD, but he does suffer from asthmatic attacks. I was actually semi-diagnosed as an adult, so I went through my whole adult life up until now not really knowing I had a problem, but thinking, God, it's hard to breathe in here. And one thing I learned is, man, I can breathe a whole lot better when I play that, and it really, it kind of energizes me, really. If I hear something, that I think sounds great, I will jump on it. Chris has become the front man for the Harmonicas for Health program, a program which started at St. Thomas Rutherford and will spread to more than 20 other facilities. Chris welcomes the lead role, sharing his story, speaking to patients, and playing his instrument like nobody else. We have a good time in here today. We had a good time in this session. Uh, the people who are dealing with COPD, I think it gives them a chance to also forget about COPD and just have fun with life.